In the previous video, we have created our My Noise and the Noise settings. For now, let's input some test parameters. Let's set the noise zoom to be 0.01. .01. Let's set the octave value to be 5. I'm going to set the uh, maybe offset to minus 100 since we do not want to start from 0, 0 point because at 0, 0 the parent noise repeats in the other direction. So let's change it to be 3400 so, or you can set those values as you want them to be set now world offset as i have said this will be the general offset so our seed the persistence value let's set it to be 0.5 the redistribution modifier i would set it to 0 uh, 1.2 and the exponent let's set it to be 5 for now okay this uh, those are our noise settings that we will be using but where do we use those? Well, we are generating our terrain using our biome generator class. So let's open it up and add a reference to our noise settings here. Okay. So at the top of it, we are going to, uh, we are not going to need this noise scale anymore. Instead, we are going to have a public noise settings reference. Let's uh, call it uh, our maybe biome settings or biome noise settings. Okay, great. Now, instead of using this to calculate our noise and then this uh, in the ground position, we are going to have a new method. So let's delete those inside our process chunk column. And instead of calling this math round to int, we are going to call our get surface height noise. Okay. And we are going to put here our x and z value as input and this should be good and before we calculate this we want to call our biome noise settings and we're going to call dot world offset equals our map seed offset so now we have set our map offset seed here it's not the most pretty way to set it up but this will work for now so now we can right click on our newly created method quick actions and let's generate it in our script right now this is throwing uh, throwing an exception let's delete this we are going to first calculate float terrain height and we're going to call it uh, to be my noise dot octave perlin noise and in parentheses we are going to call simply our x and z value and we are going to pass our biome noise settings Next, what we can do is modify our terrain height to be equal to our my noise, and we want to create those plateaus uh, instead of only hills and valleys. So we want to use the redistribution method that will rise the terrain noise to a power, and we are going to pass here our terrain height uh, as the parameter as the noise, and we are going to pass our biome noise settings uh, to pass all the parameters that we need. Next. We are going to create int surface height and this will be equal to a my noise dot remap and we know that our noise is in range 0 to 1 so we want to remap 0 to 1 to int and we are going to pass here our terrain height we are going to pass here a 0 as the output min because our y values start from 0 but we do not know the and value for our height so what we could do here is pass to our get surface noise also the chunk data because the chunk data has the height or simply the height itself so we can pass data dot chunk height and this is the universal chunk height so we can take the int value at the end and this will be int chunk height Okay, and we are going to pass it as the second parameter for our remap, uh, remap method, so chunk height. And now we are sure that we are generating the values between 0 and the chunk height, so the terrain cannot be higher than the highest point in our chunk. And all we need to do is simply return our surface height. Okay, and now we can slide up and we are calling this to get the ground position. One issue that we have here is that we are constantly calculating the noise value for the same x and z values per each chunk because we have never added the world position. So I have forgotten about this, so let's add it now. Data.worldposition.x 
plus our x and we are passing the same to the z data.worldposition.z plus the z value and now we should see the correct values here okay let's make sure that we select file and save all and let's go back to unity okay now we have our noise settings here we need to assign them to our biome generator so let's do this and let's press play to test if our algorithms are working correctly so i'm going to press generate and as you can see we have generated our landscape we have some issues with our blocks that they are incorrectly placed but overall the issue that we have right now is that the water level is actually too high so let's change the biome generation and let's change the water level to something like 10 let's regenerate okay and now you can see that since we have changed it our uh, chunks or our voxels have changed the texture automatically because we have prepared this inside our code and now we can see that we have a bit different landscape that we had previously what we can do right now is to play around with our noise settings to modify how our map should look like if we decrease the number of octaves basically we are decreasing the number of details if we re regenerate it you can see that our landscape is more flat so we want to keep it fairly high to get those small details here now another important setting is the persistence if we set the persistence to be 0.9 for example let's regenerate it you can see that we have a lot more of those hills so let's keep it fairly uh, in the middle so 0.5 should be good we have those smooth terrain now we have this exponent so this is what we had done with the redistribution to have those flat planes as you can see we had uh, those so those are our plateaus if we reduce it to zero uh, to two now if we generate our map you should see that we have a lot more hills and this is uh, there, there are less plateaus here so you may want to play around with those settings to generate a bit of a plateaus uh, a bit of a water and uh, some ground and as you can see this looks much better than we, what we had previously and since this is a scriptable object all the data is already saved here now those issues with the incorrect textures being placed is something that probably there is an issue with the algorithms uh, from the previous section of videos i will try to find a solution for it but this is not very apparent now if you are enjoying this tutorial please leave a like leave a comment and if you would like to support me you can become a member on youtube to support me you can also become a patron to support me and be listed in all the videos and and currently i have courses on how to write better code on the examples of 2d games so you can support me by checking them out the links will be in the description and before we can go any further with our procedural generation i would like to use chain of responsibility pattern to make our uh, procedural generation a bit more modular so that we can add and, def uh, and remove layers of generation per each biome so we have a more modular approach to our biomes so that we can in the future create our additional biome and add it to our game more easily and that's what's coming in the next video when it is available. See you there!